Look, I made the background look prettier. Uh, it made the background look kind of prettier. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My blood. I can't really tell. I've got this like special fancy light behind me. I'm so blurred. I, I can't do fancy things. Okay, I'm like on a wonk. Stay. Okay, please don't go blurred. No, we're good. Can you see me? Yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Die at Five. A lot of you have been asking me, Di, do another hair tutorial. So, I thought, why not? There's so many hairstyles that I've got up my sleeve, even though I'm not wearing one, that I would love to do for you guys. If you can master them, they look incredible. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. You don't really need too much for this video. A comb, a couple of bobby pins, some hair lackeys, some scrunchies if you want and maybe some section clips. Don't know if I said section clips already. I probably did. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to section the hair to a side part, like so. Instead of doing the braids coming back this way, I'm going to braid upwards. You'll see what I mean in a second. Now what you've got to do is you've got to section your hair vertical. So section to the side and then you're going to take vertical section. I sat here, guys, because right here is a mirror. And I feel like I can't actually use the mirror. I've got to use the camera, which is really difficult. Like, I need a portable mirror. Also, I've been dancing all day and my feet stink. Anyway, what you're gonna do is section downwards. I have extensions, so my um, sections aren't gonna be as clear as what you guys can get them. Clip the rest back. You're going to braid upwards. Hopefully this is gonna work. I've actually never tried this on myself. So you wanna braid it until it gets to the top. Then you're gonna get a bobby pin that in. So that hair continues to go over. Then you get your next section and take that back. Then you're gonna do the same thing. And then I'm gonna do another pin like so. Joe! Joe! Thanks. Whew, okay, had a little bit of a malfunction there. The camera fell down, this whole camera went blurry. I had no option but to call the expert, Joseph Sugg, to come and help me out. So he did, bless his little soul. But I managed to pin in the second one. So we've done one, two, we're gonna go with another one. Probably say this will be the last one. And again, braiding it up. Right, so then you can unleash your clips. I love that. So the next one is also to do with braiding. You're probably gonna lose me for a second here because I'm gonna flip my head upside down I don't even know if this is gonna be video because I can't see actually what I'm doing. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, I'm going upside down. Hopefully you can see me. Can you see me? Yeah, we're good. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna do a braid, but you're gonna start the braid from the back of your head. And you're gonna take three sections. And doesn't shine to the end of the day. You guys will probably be too uh, young for that song. Every time you cry, save it for your tears. I won't be a rainbow when it disappears. Do you know that song, guys? Until you smile again. Oh my god, I've gotten to the top. I've gotten to the top. I've gotten to the top. I hope you guys saw all that. Look, it's like literally I've done a braid upside down on my head. And what you want to do is you want to put an elastic in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck the top under and bobby pin that. Make sure you hide your elastic. So you've kind of got like a little top knot bun, but you've used your braid doing it. Well, I don't mind 
seen that, you know. That's quite cute. Wow, okay. Hairstyle number three is a kind of similar vibe, but this time I'm gonna part my hair straight down the middle. Throw your hair upside down. You're gonna do the same thing that we just did, but we're gonna do it in two sections. Okay, we're nearly at the top. It's like climbing a mountain. They are so cool, it looks awesome. What I'm gonna do with this side is pop it into a little bun up here. So cute. Look. Oh, guys, please do these at school. These are so cute. I am obsessed with this one. I feel like Sailor Moon. But the coolest thing is, the back of it looks awesome as well. I think that's my favorite one. They've all been very heavily braid orientated. So if you don't know how to do the braids, I did show you how to do braids in one of my other hair tutorials. So go and watch that one to actually find out how to do a braid first before attempting these braid updos, I guess you could call them. And the last one I'm gonna do is one that I used to actually do all the time to go out in. What you're gonna do is leave a little section at the front out. You're gonna tie your hair into three sections. So the first one, you're gonna just kind of do like you're doing half up, half down, one. The second pony, you're gonna take almost like you're doing another half up, half down, tie it just underneath the other one. Now, don't use scrunchies like I'm using. I've just ran out of hair lackeys, but you're not gonna see them anyway. Right now you've got one, two. Now you're gonna do a third ponytail underneath that. This one is called the Mohican. There we go, okay, so you've got three ponytails. Then what I do is I back comb each little section and kind of do like a little messy bun on there and just mess it up and pin. Then the next ponytail, I do the same thing. I give it a bit of back combing. What is with my accents at the moment? I give it a bit of back combing. It's not even Australian, it's not even English, like, where is that from? And then pin away. This is actually a really good style for shorter hair because um, you can really get the Mohican sort of look. Then you've got your last section. You're gonna do exactly the same. Give it a little bit of a zhuzh and then pin. You don't have to be neat with this at all. The messier, the better. You want it to basically look like a mohawk. If you wanna do it a bit neater, what you can do as well is curl every section of your ponytail and then it's easier to pin because you've actually, you're pinning curls up. So it makes it just look a little bit more placed rather than so crazy. But I kind of like the crazy look. So as you can see, I look like I've got a mohawk happening right now, which is cool. Now with this extra bit, sometimes I would curl that and pin and like have some bits hanging out, but I'm just gonna back home and puff it up with the rest of my mohawk. Ooh, 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 look at that. That is so rock and roll. Have it. There's a couple of hairstyles that you can have fun with. Do at home, do them for school, do them for going out. But make sure you show me and send me pictures of you attempting them. They're not that hard, but they do require patience. I'm going to definitely try and get myself a big mirror as well so I can actually see what I'm doing rather than looking into this tiny little cube. Anyway, if you liked it, you know what to do. I'm not even gonna tell ya. I'll be back with another Diet at five very soon. But for now, I wish you all well and happy hair doing, people. Remember, send me in pictures of you attempting these hairstyles. Love you lots.
take care. Ciao for now. Ta ta. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye 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 bye. See ya. Rock and roll.